Well, it's Easter Sunday evening and I have spent the whole afternoon virtually arranging and rearranging this nice new house for Matilda, Emily and Ray. Um, I, they were in a for it. I was hoping to get them in full time in with the other girls in the Savick Royal Suite 95 cage but we've had a bit of a problem with Violet being so... she's not mean but she's so hyperactive that she's just tormenting the girls and so they're having to make do with playtime together and then I'm having to put Matilda back into their cage. Now they're too big for the furret. I'm very disappointed it hasn't worked putting them all in together. And the other thing of course is that with six hyperactive little girl rats when you open those big doors on the Savick Royal Suite 95 they all try to jump out, so constantly trying to hold the rats back with one hand and then do whatever you're trying to do with the other hand. Anyway, when uh, Barnaby and Frederick came to um, stay here a few days ago, they had this lovely cage which was, um, it's a, a Savic Freddy 2 Max. Um, which they're living in and that belongs to them but I was quite impressed and um, that's the wheel squeaking by the way I'm going to have to sort that out it seems to be touching something um, anyway I was quite impressed with this cage and I decided that I would treat the girls to a new cage so here they are there's little Matilda hello darling and Emily and don't know where Ray's gone there's Ray down there <laughs> And we've had the door open. There's the disadvantage and why it's taken so long to do this cage is because there is only one small front door on the Savick cages. But if the rats are very tame, it's not too much of a problem. It's just very fiddly when you come to rearrange everything in the house. And um, yes, it took me ages because the girls are very good at jumping around. So it basically came with two green shelves and... Um, or platforms and two green ladders and we're using the, both of the green platforms and we're using one of the green ladders and at the other one which you can't really see from here but I'll show you we've actually got a tube running down instead and I just have to see that at the back not really just about see the tube there that goes into a cargo net and we've got one of our blue platforms and they've got their silent spinner wheel uh, we've got a couple of the ramp hammocks from Cozy Beds and Burrows. They've got a pink cocoon, hello, cocoon Savick house down the back. And they've got their green litter tray that came with the house, hello Emmy, hello Emily. And that's attached with one of the safe hammock clips. Um, they've got their two water bottles on the front. Their food bowl is down under the ladder, Ray found that very quickly. We've got lots and lots of cargo nets to make it really safe and ropes and toys and all sorts of things. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's a lovely new house. And I don't know if I can give you a view from the top. It's a bit dark in here, but you can see down. That's the top. Now, <laughs> Matilda is a little bit miffed because I can no longer open the top of this cage and of course in the mornings the first thing we would do is open the top of the cage and that would Matilda would come for her cuddle. It's also a little bit more difficult to reach the wheel. It does mean extra work because I will have to actually take the rats right out if I want to do a quick clean rather than just mop up puddles and things with the rats in the cage. Now I'm sorry it's a little bit dark here because it is. I intended to get this finished a lot earlier in the day and um, I wanted to show you the rats in there when they were very new to the cage because it's more exciting for them. You just see you've got all sorts of toys and chews and tunnels and things. So that's what we've been doing today and uh, you heard me mention that Frederick and Barnaby came in a cage like this. Now they're staying with us temporarily. They're rats from my charity that need to be rehomed. But they are nine months old. They haven't been handled much. So they've come here for some intensive handling. We have got a home lined up for them. But the lady um, didn't want to have to do the sort of socialising herself. Because she's fairly new to rats. So we'll let you know how that goes. And uh, we have got four other boys staying here at the moment and I'll make a little video with them. And they hopefully also have a home to go to. <laughs> uh, 
But for now, the my little girls are happy exploring. It's been totally exhausting doing this cage, but I think they're going to love it. I think it's a really, really lovely cage. So we will hope that one day they will all be in together all of the time with um, little Primrose and Lara and Violet. But for now, I think this is a pretty good substitute. I would have preferred a bigger door or a door on the ceiling, but you can't have everything. And um, this works for now. And we're just going to see how it goes. But it's uh, I did sell my old cages. They were getting a bit tatty. Um, I sold them to someone who could use them temporarily as temporary homes. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to keep them permanently. But the good thing about this one is I didn't have to build it, which was nice. Hello, hello, gorgeous Matilda. Yeah, lovely. So yes, it's a very nice cage. De um, it's expensive, but you know when you buy Savic or Furplast, you're getting really nice quality cages and accessories and we'll just see how this works out for them. I am going to have to buy extra cargo nets and things just to keep the rats safe. I've been discussing this with several people. Cargo nets don't seem to be the same quality they used to be. They shrink when you wash them and they're just not lasting as well so that is a big expense but um, they at least they don't get chewed up in five minutes like the hammock shoes do. And the, the little hammock ramps from Cozy Beds and Burrows, they're doing really, really well. Rats love them. And so we're just trying to make the cage as interesting as possible for our very lively little girls. <laughs> 